Hey y'all, Nintendo Prime here. Okay, um, hi. I'm Nathaniel Robo Jazz from Nintendo Prime, and we have a juicy rumor for you today. So grab your tinfoil hats, get your truckload of salt, back it up to the rumor mill line, and get ready to talk about some really interesting information if it's correct. And as always, I'll give you a little bit of context behind why we're reporting on this particular rumor and why some other rumors from the same source might be cropping up here over the rest of today and even the rest of this week because there seems to be a new batch of stuff floating out there. I kind of teased this on Twitter a little bit over the weekend uh, and here we are. Uh, I know general opinion seems to be that we are just a rumor channel. Uh, I do enjoy talking about rumors and leaks and all of that, but we do have a lot of legitimate news hopefully coming this week. Again, I don't create the news. The news comes to me. So hopefully we have some really great news this week. That being said, uh, I want to remind you we are giving away three copies of Pokemon Legends Arceus. To enter, head down into the description and click on that viral sweep link or in the pinned comment. We also have our terms and conditions, you know, our rules for all of our giveaways linked down below as well. Let's get into today's, well, first rumor, I suppose. So this little rumor, or big rumor in this case, comes from someone known on Twitter as Marco Maro. And yeah, I know. Twitter people, we just wrote off Samus Hunter, right? Samus Hunter got, you know, a big swing and miss with, with Zelda stuff at the Game Awards. So we're probably not gonna cover her for quite some time. But this person, I have been following them on Twitter for quite some time and paying attention to a lot of rumors they have stated over the last six months. And a lot of the things they said weren't being said by others and then came true, including information about the Kirby game that ended up getting announced. Information about things happening with Animal Crossing so in general this person has proven correct in a number of major things in the last six months so because of that I feel comfortable at least bringing this new information to your forefront and I guess we'll see what happens. this is a rumor you're not necessarily meant to believe it you're always meant to be super skeptical so don't shoot the messenger and then my opinions on this but let's get into what they said on Twitter actually about a brand new Nintendo switch console coming in 2023 so I'm literally reading their tweets right here. And it says 2022 will be the last strong year for the Nintendo Switch since 2023 will be the start of a new console generation. That's right, they are claiming next gen Nintendo happens in 2023. Um, it'll be very similar to the actual Nintendo Switch. So again, another hybrid handheld, you know, dockable system, but with a little more power than that of a PlayStation 4, which is what some people were kind of hoping for here. It'll have 4K capabilities, new functions, and will be compatible with old Switch games. He goes on to say, Mario Kart, a new Mario 3D, so a new 3D Mario, maybe it's Odyssey 2, maybe it's something else, and a complete edition of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and improved versions for the Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel and Metroid Prime 4 that I believe at this point is going to be the Breath of the Wild of the new console and have a dual release on the Switch and the new system. There is some casual games in there as well. The actual Switch should be around till at least 2024 with some cross compatible games for both systems. After that, they will focus solely on the new system. And I find this to obviously be really interesting. This goes against some things that Shintaro Furukawa has said where Switch has just entered the mid cycle. Maybe. Here's the thing, we're not really sure what Nintendo considers to be the full cycle of Switch. Do they just consider it to be the concept of the system? Because let's say this new 4K Switch, this new Switch Pro, this new Nintendo Switch that comes out in 2023, is really a continuation of the current family of systems that's pseudo replacing that family of systems after a couple of years. It's entirely possible that Nintendo doesn't view this as a next gen device, but rather a continuation of an already existing a, a, uh, you know, device, just getting better hardware. This would also line up with the fact that Nintendo's had a very hard time, obviously procuring parts, as has everyone in the industry, hence why pretty much every video game console, GPU, etc., is sold out. Oh, and beyond all of that, 2023 is also a new 
manufacturing plants are supposed to be opening up for these chip makers, which should really relieve the tension and stress on the pipeline to get systems out the door. So 2023 already is a notable year because of that. So again, this curse that could be making this up, could be guessing, and obviously being very bold in what games are going to be available there day one. Obviously being very bold saying Metroid Prime 4 is going to be a dual release on both platforms. Wouldn't be surprised about that, of course, but we'll see what happens. Now again, this person does have a lot of information on some other stuff apparently happening in 2022 and we'll get into that in a different video but for now i just want to say a little bit more powerful than the playstation 4 i find it to be rather interesting that seems to be a go between playstation 4 and i don't know the playstation 4 pro because he didn't mention the playstation 4 pro which is more powerful than the PlayStation 4, but not as powerful as a PlayStation 5. So I really find this an interesting concept. And obviously when we're talking about 4K, nobody's acting like the Switch is gonna be outputting native 4K. And I wanna be clear about this. The PlayStation 4, or I should say, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, most of the games that are in 4K, 60 FPS, 120 FPS, etc., aren't true 4K. They're using rendering techniques that up-res the game within the game files themselves, or they're just using an up-res technique on the system level to give you that 4K image, which by the way, these rendering techniques look good, but native 4K, even on a super powerful gaming PC, typically requires a GPU that costs $1,000 or more, and that's not considering any other PC hardware. We're talking a 3080, a 3080 Ti, a 3090, a 6900 XT. That kind of range of GPU is what we're talking about to really get native 4K with AAA games. And even then, we're just talking native 4K with AAA games at playable frame rates, let alone if we enable ray tracing, you need a 3090 if you want playable frame rates of 4K uh, with ray tracing. So there's just a lot of fluff with the marketing as there is every generation, by the way, uh, to deal with this. So yeah, the Nintendo Switch is obviously gonna use some sort of upscaler, likely a form of DLSS or a alternative version that's built on top of that, or maybe AMD's free option they're throwing out there that should work with any hardware out there, at least to some degree. I presume maybe a little bit better with AMD stuff over Nvidia, but it'll probably be usable on everything should people want to take advantage of it. And again, DLSS for those who don't know is just basically a way to upscale using cores of the GPU that aren't necessarily being used to output visuals in terms of the graphic fidelity. Uh, also, by the way, um, the AMD's version of it is a bit more software oriented, but again, this is just options on the market to give you that 4K image without having to do a native 4K game. As an example, taking a 1080p image and making it look almost as good upsampled to 4K as native 4K. It'll never be as good, to be clear, It'll never be as good, and there might be some indie titles that do hit true 4K on Switch, but the AAA Nintendo third-party games, uh, those are not going to be 4K on Switch. They're just going to be upscaled, so it's a marketing term. But you know what? For general consumer use, I think it'll be fine. Also, do not expect the screen held in hand uh, to be 4K. I think that's uh, a little... But that's asking a little too much of this particular platform. Now, as always, this is a rumor, but one thing I do like about this rumor in comparison to other ones is it does feel a little bit more realistic uh, because a lot of stuff has been, Bloomberg was really pushing the idea of a Switch Pro last year, and it turns out they had a lot of details of the system correct. It just happened to be, well, this. The Switch OLED. It was seven inch screen, the OLED panel, obviously the better kickstand, but again, it really wasn't what we were looking for. They kept saying 4K, 4K, 4K. And a lot of this I think was built on the fact that they actually knew developers that were working on 4K games for a new platform from Nintendo. And if there is a new platform coming in 2023, it would make sense that maybe some early dev kits did exist where Nintendo was hoping for them to take advantage of it. Now 4K isn't going to be, you know, we already mentioned it's not going to be that true 4K. It's going to be some upscaler DLSS or something else. But still, the idea of a brand new Nintendo Switch platform coming in 2023 does make some logical sense. New, new manufacturing plants are opening up to help with the chip shortages by then. Uh, it does give Nintendo more time to plan out. Obviously right now the Switch is killing it. There's no reason to necessarily release it at this moment. 2022 already has an amazing lineup just from 
what we know, let alone what might be rumored. Uh, and yeah, it doesn't look like Nintendo has any reason to rush out a new platform, even if we would like them to in some regards, because yeah, Switch could use some upgrades beyond just some of the stuff they did with OLED. More power can lead to better interfacing, could lead to uh, potentially better online if Nintendo decides to dedicate to that. So there's a lot of different things that could happen with a new platform, but as always, these are rumors. They don't really hold any weight until Nintendo announces something, and even if a reputable place comes out to back said rumors, like we had with Bloomberg last year, again, as we just saw last summer, where Takahashi Matrizuki, who has an impeccable track record, even more impeccable than what I mentioned, the brief little stuff about this uh, with you know, uh, Marco Maro, it, it's one of those situations where we need to always be skeptical until something is officially announced, or at least if it's coming from a major place like Bloomberg, we see some leaks of actual dev kits or units along with it. Uh, we need to keep that skepticism high. I obviously would love a more powerful switch to come out sooner than later in 2023, but I'm also sort of a tech junkie, right? Like I'm still rocking, you know, I have a 5900X with a 6700XT, which is like the latest generation, not the greatest, you know, not the greatest, the 5950X uh, uh, CPU from AMD and the 6900XT is actually the best of the best, but in the market we're in today, that's actually not that bad uh, for what I have for my editing computer. And the thing is, I love having the latest, you know, I had a Switch OLED before it came out. And then I gave away, I think, what, three Switch OLEDs since launch, including the one that's mine. So, well, I didn't give away mine, but I mean, so it's four Switch OLEDs I've bought since launch, and you know, three of them to give away. And I, I honestly, I think that in the grand scheme of releasing new platforms, I obviously have a bias towards being a tech enthusiast, I like new things. They're fun to play with. I use my Switch OLED almost daily. It's a lot of fun. I also use my Xbox Series S almost daily. I definitely use my editing computer daily, if not for this, for homework. Um, this laptop gets a lot of use. So it's getting more use right now uh, in terms of just running this monitor up here. I know you guys can't see it, it's off screen, but still this laptop gets used to in that and live streams. And then obviously anytime I need to do any work or school outside of the home. So. I have a lot of affinity for technology. Lavalier mic, wireless system. Uh, you see this thing, the AT2035. These are nice microphones as well that I've had for a couple years. On the, you know, I got these expensive boom arms now uh, for our lives and our podcasts. And someday this TV will be replaced back here with an OLED nice panel, if not an entire video wall. I love technology. So I have a bias and an affinity for new stuff. However, I know not everyone's ready. So do we need new hardware? Some will say yes, some will say no. All I can do is deliver to you the quote unquote news, or in this case, the rumors that are out there from places that at least have some sort of track record of being right with some major things such as Kirby's Forgotten Land, and uh, we will go from there. So yeah, I got some more rumors from the same source that we'll be talking about again later today. Uh, some of it later today, some of it later this week. Uh, I'm really excited to talk about some of this stuff because it really has my brain churning. One of the things in particular we're talking about is actually backed by a major outlet. So we're going to get into some of that as well. But again, another video, another time. This one I wanted to dedicate to Nintendo's next platform, which again, apparently is going to be very similar to this, but more powerful, which I think makes a lot of sense. I might even use the same form factor, same switch OLED panel. I don't know. I, I don't, I'm really curious to see what happens. Um, and I don't think it would even be announced until 2023 for honest. I don't think this is going to be one of those revealed at E3 next year to come in 2023. I think this is going to be a very short announced to release window, but that's what they do with OLED, right? They give us like, like a month, two months, something like that. So anyways, you know what folks? I am Nathaniel Rubble Jets from Nintendo Prime and I'll catch you in the next video.